I want to talk about a seriously amazing tool that's available for everyone. And the incredible thing is that it's free and open source and it's called FFMPEG. A lot of us have heard of this and know it as F and know it as FMPEG. And it's an incredible free and open source project that helps us record, convert, and stream various different audio and video. The best part of it is it's a command line tool, which I'll show you how to install in a moment because it's super easy here, especially on Linux. And we'll talk about how powerful FFmpeg, FMPEG is in a moment, but let's first install it. So sudo apt install FFmpeg, press enter, and that's it. It'll take a few moments as the package gets installed. It's around 300 megabytes to fully install the tool. But seriously, that's all you have to do on Linux and you have it at your disposal. And I'll show you why it's so powerful. If we do type in FFmpeg, you'll notice that there is an error because it's asking you, what do you want to run with this tool? Well, specifically, I do many things with this tool. Some of my great use cases are one, converting audio or video, two, compressing audio or video, three, processing audio and video. It's also great for encoding purposes and many, many other media applications use FFmpeg under the hood, such as video editors, media players, streaming platforms. Its use is endless with processing video, creating videos, and adding audio tracks to video files. It's so flexible. It's got a wide range of use cases, so we can't get into everything today, but it can be difficult for those of you who are not familiar with the command line interface and might make it intimidating for you but it shouldn't stop you from using this seriously amazing tool that FFmpeg is. So let's talk about the number one use case that I use it for, which is converting files. We'll take a look at their amazing documentation and give you an example of a conversion. But before we get there, check out delva.ai. Not sure how to start using AI for your business? Don't let your company fall behind. Start building an AI strategy today with Delva's AI Consulting. Schedule some time with Delva's AI Consultants and start integrating AI into your business. Again, check it out at delva.ai. There's a link in the description below. And if the tool wasn't great enough, the documentation makes it even better. Here are plenty of examples of how to convert between various different formats using FFmpeg. Things like going from a YUV to a MPG or a YUV to an AVI vice versa, doing audio conversions such as a WAV to an MP2, extracting specific images out of a video file. And if you're looking for a specific format to see if FFmpeg can do it, they have a formats documentation, which I'll post a link in the description below, but look at all these formats that are supported. Things from AAC to FLV, GIF, MPEG, AVI, MP3, OGG, H.264, HEV, M4V, MP2, so on and so forth. We're not going to get into everything because it's in a crazy long list, but now let's talk about how we could potentially use FFmpeg to convert a video. If we typed in FFmpeg, then dash I, this is your input file. So it's some video dot MOV, because we're going to go from MOV to MP4 with a specific video and audio codec. So for video codec, I can do dash V, type in codec, and type in H.264 for my video encoding. You can look at all the different formats available and choose your own encoding. But for the audio codec, I'm going to use A, I'm going to use dash A codec, and then do MP2. And then type in the output video with the output video format. So for example, new video dot MP4. So that'll take some video dot move dot MOV and make it into new video.m4. So I'll press enter and run this, but since my video file is not properly formatted, it's not actually going to be able to convert. But now that you're aware of this super tool for video and audio, recording, converting, streaming, processing, what have you, let me know how you're gonna use it in the comment section below. Also make sure to subscribe for more Linux tips and tricks and to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.